Available refresh rate technologies such as FreeSync, G-Sync, and Adaptive Sync are something that's getting traction in the gaming and monitor space. So, what is it? Let's take a look. Variable refresh rate technology allows monitors to only refresh when the GPU outputs a new frame to it. This allows for less perceivable stutter and also allows for less screen tearing. Currently DisplayPort 1.2a is the only uh, connection type that can support this, but it will be supported in DisplayPort 1.3 and above, and I believe HDMI is going to be bringing it in as well. As stated, the main advantages of this technology are the less perceivable stutter and no screen tearing. These are the two main selling features that both companies have been pushing and are really what most people are wanting this technology for. I guess it would be good to know what each one is, right? Well, let's start off with G-Sync, the first one that came out produced by NVIDIA. It relies on a $200 hardware module that controls the refresh rate and and these FreeSync is the response to G-Sync. The reason that they created it was because they were losing a little bit of market share to NVIDIA over G-Sync. Many people thought it's a great technology, myself included, and it makes gaming a wonder. It will take most of the issues and most complaints that I have about gaming and it just gets rid of them. Linus from Linus Tech Tips, he said when he was looking at G-Sync a little while back that 40 frames per second was perceived as smooth as 60 frames per second. Obviously that's not the case, but that does tell you the difference that G-Sync does make and FreeSync and Adaptive Sync as well. What's Adaptive Sync? Adaptive Sync is VESA's version of variable refresh rate technology. And they worked with AMD to create this. It's a driver-based solution, very much like AMD, but it works on AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel, as Intel has their iGPUs. Well, let me know what you think about this technology, whether you want it in your monitor, if you think it will become standard. Also, if you have a G-Sync, FreeSync, or Adaptive Sync monitor, let me know down below which one it is and if you think it was a worthwhile buy. Remember guys, rate the video down below. Also, remember to hit subscribe so you can catch new videos every Tuesday. While you're down below, if you decide to check out the description, remember that you can find Twitter down there as well as Facebook where I post videos a day early compared to YouTube as a little reward bonus for following me on there. And as it gains traction there, I will be taking and posting more different things behind the scenes is something that I'm definitely planning on doing. Anyways, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.